G'day viewers, um, got a Toyota Hilux here, um, put a tray and canopy on it because I prefer it for as I'm a tradesman and I didn't know what to do with the tub that come with the ute so here's an idea that might interest a lot of viewers especially did it because I love gold detecting and camping out in the bush so yeah built the whole chassis myself bent all the aluminium, bought the toolbox on the front and here it is with the awning and I'll just show you some of the features on it um, here we've got gas connection and water which is operated by an electric 12 volt pump 125 litres of water mounted in the chassis and here's the little kitchen just undo that So I just thought I'd show a lot of people and here comes out the kitchen. So that's the kitchen. The drawer comes out 1600 mils. It's got the stove and grill there, sink there, and got a drawer that comes out here. So that's the kitchen. A little compartment in there for the odd bits and pieces like, like gas hoses um, so yeah so that's that um, petrol filler where the diesel normally went in on the utes I've actually adapted that so that's where the water goes in I'll just put this gas pipe aside um, it's got independent suspension um, just see if I can show you that from underneath there's the independent suspension underneath there so it's got the standard uh, track pattern as the Toyota so therefore when you're doing sand driving you don't have the problem the wheels dragging through the sand it's actually following the same track as the Toyota so as you can see Hilux SR5 um, just open up the bedding when you sleep there we go um, bed still wrapped in plastic and basically that's the inside of it there fits a queen size bed um, up the front there there's a box there big enough uh, you can put luggage in there um, clothes particularly keeps dry just opening up the tailgate now and down here we got DVD CD radio uh, gives off good sound um, remote control on it see if we get some music happening um, so yeah, it's uh, just about, here we go, a bit of music, just turn that off now, um, you lift up the bed, and you open up, and there's underbed storage there, it's a plenty of storage for the odd bits and pieces, it's a bit messy at the moment, but I'm, st I'm still working on it. Um, nice little looking unit. I'm really happy with the way it's turned out. Um, down on this side is just standard Toyota. There's the old tub and I've built this whole aluminium box up the front myself. Um, on the previous video you've seen the bending tool I made, aluminium bending tool I made. Basically everything was made with that apart from, just go past this tree, Apart from that toolbox in the front, you know, the toolbox in the front is just got. Hang on, sorry about the camera work. Just open that up. There's basically a boot. Bit of rubbish in there at the moment. Fits two four kilo gas bottles in there, and I've got the battery pack in here. And just up there, I got the solar panel controller up there. Now, 
that's that like that um, there's a solar panel on the front I've utilized the sports bar that normally on the tubs on the SR5s and utilize that and made it so it holds the awning and of course the solar panel which is an 80 watt solar panel um, big enough to keep that battery charged basically it's um, yeah basically it's enough wattage in there to keep that battery charged keep it running all night for lighting um, as well as playing watching TV um, playing DVDs through the DVD player and yeah, here's the kitchen again it's quite cozy under here I can't wait to take it out in the bush and um, try it out there I haven't used it camping it yet but it's got a few little bits and pieces I need to do to finish it off but basically it's I'm really happy with it um, actually I'll just take you back to the take you to the back again um, got the switch panel here so I just flick that switch and then I'd come around here and I'll, I'll show you around the kitchen area again but this tap here it's got oodles of pressure look at that beautiful working off that 12 volt pump as I said 125 litres mounted in the chassis so uh, hopefully it doesn't get damaged because I have to pull the whole thing apart uh, might be able to show you the tank there's a water tank there or parts of so yeah basically a lot of sleep this night just designing this in my head and, uh, and it's come to reality and it's just about finished I'm really wrapped with it so I'll just show you because I'm doing a Western Australia trip next year or this year um, and I wanted the camper so I thought well I might as well use what I've got and I've built this give you a good view from the back so yeah I hope you hope everyone likes it but it's just an idea I come up with and something to utilize uh, uh, ute tubs and what you can actually do with them so anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and just remember hobo's gold YouTube Thanks for watching.